This place here is Driver Appreciation Day. They gave me cookies and a bottle of water. <laughs> that is cool. All right, good morning. We're in Oklahoma City getting loaded, picking up our uh, roofing shingles. This place here is Driver Appreciation Day. They gave me cookies and a bottle of water. <laughs> that is cool. I don't think I've ever been to a facility that uh, Driver Appreciation Day gave me some cookies and a bottle of water. But uh, we're loading up some shingles, taking them up to Michigan. So it uh, looks like it's gonna go pretty quick. Uh, I had a good morning this morning. I've uh, already done laundry, um, paid some bills, got some paperwork done, so everything's going pretty good. We're gonna grab this. Oh, went to Peterbilt and got fan belts. So got fan belts, we're gonna do that this weekend. So uh, let's get this loaded and uh, we'll get out of here. All right, we got our roofing shingles loaded up. We're on I-44 on a toll road right now. We've gone about uh, 50, 60 miles. We're gonna stop at this service plaza up here. We'll go out here and take a look. So what we got, pretty simple, nothing fancy. I did use my big edge protectors. I do like my big edge protectors. I'm glad I bought them. Money well spent. Make life a little bit easier. So they just built this service plaza probably within the last year or so. And this service plaza is to replace the one that's in the middle which is up here about another five, six miles, I believe. They built this one. I have not been to this service plaza yet. But it does have a lot of truck parking. We're gonna go around on the backside there and you guys can see all the truck parking. Truck parking. So you can see all of this. We'll drive this way here so you can see all this parking. I like to see all this parking. That's good. That's good. And then we got more truck parking on the other side. We'll go around to the other side. Oklahoma, you done good. Nice big service plaza. I like this. I like this. And you got all this parking over here. All this parking over here. We're going to park over here. Hopefully find a quiet spot. We'll go take a look at what we got. Parking here, there, there. They done good, they done good. Alright, let's go outside and see what we got. Alright, I think the last time I left you guys, I uh was in Oklahoma at Service Plaza and that was yesterday and we are now in Michigan on I-69 or no I take that back we're on Indiana on I-69 heading to Michigan at this nice big rest area nice and quiet we've already went for a little walk Bailey got out stretched legs he had dinner uh, we'll take a look at our load real quick on our Dorsey trailer. 
today's video sponsored by Dorsey. I was going to wash the truck and trailer today, but I decided not to. I wanted to go ahead and get on up here. Uh, we got shingles, roof and shingles. 40, about 46,000 pounds of roof and shingles. So we're not quite as heavy as we were with the other loader shingles. And uh, I know we take shingles from Indiana, take them to Oklahoma. We take shingles from Oklahoma and take them up to Michigan. But hey, as long as they're paying the bill, I'll take them wherever they want to go. So I had somebody say that these uh, shingles were pretty cheap, cheap freight. They're not, they're not. The um, capacity for trucks right now is uh, pretty tight. Freight weight, freight is up. Now they're heavy. People don't want to haul them because they're heavy. The ones I took to Oklahoma paid better than the ones coming out of Oklahoma. But all in all, pretty good. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. Oh, and it fell off. So, so, well, no, there it is. So, because the last couple loads have been kind of heavy, and you heard me talk about moving the weight back on the back of the trailer, so I'm gonna step back here a little bit. Now, I want you to think of the trailer as a seesaw up and down up and down and you want to try to get the weight in the middle of the trailer to distribute it so if i'm a little heavy on the front i'm going to load a little bit to the rear now remember i'm allowed 40,000 pounds on these two axles back here between these two axles i'm allowed 34,000 pounds on that group of axles right there so i can go ahead and throw a little bit of weight onto the back of the trailer so usually when I load and they ask where's the center of the trailer, I use this little light right here as the center. And I can load 46, 47,000 with that little light center. And that puts me almost at 34,000 on the drives. But as you can see, I put a piece of tape on there and I told them use that tape as the center. So this is the center of the pallet right there. This is the center of the load. And by doing that, we got about 32 on the drives. And I think we're about 30, I want to say 35 right back here. And we're always close to 12 on the front. So it kind of give you an idea. But that's how I distribute the weight, is move the freight on the trailer. People have asked about a uh, sliding fifth wheel. I've never had a sliding fifth wheel. And I keep my fifth wheel pretty much dead center of my tandems if you look right there and what that does is it kind of keeps the weight from throwing up on the front of the trailer front of the truck I mean but you know it's nice out here um weather permitting tomorrow depending on how things go tomorrow I did when I was in Oklahoma bought some fan belts so might take our chance take your time put some fan belts on i bought some wiper blades i stopped at walmart today and uh, put some wiper blades get some wiper blades we'll put that on but uh i know i'm just kind of talking so i use my big edge protectors because if you look see how these stacks right here see that there's two right there and it's the same way up there and then you can see right there so that's why i had to use my big ones so i can cover that uh that one single stack right there and if you paid attention to the other shingle load i had it didn't have those two like that it was stacked the way they were stacked different on the pallets but anyway nice quiet truck rest area so it looks like it's getting ready to storm or something so like i said weather permitting We'll do fan belts tomorrow. I didn't want to do it tonight. I don't want to get all sweaty and dirty before I go to bed. But uh, from right here, we got about 375 miles up to where we got to go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.